Today's workout is an indoor walking one. I'm gonna do it with you in real time, it takes 30 seconds. So if you just start just marching on the spot, I'm just gonna run through some bits. So have this as your warm up. So this is incredible for health, fitness, and weight loss. And the great thing is with this exercise routine we're gonna to do today is suitable for everyone. So even if you're a complete beginner, doesn't matter, this is gonna get you all amazing results. We're gonna tone your entire body. All the moves are performed standing up, and I'm gonna be training with you throughout this workout, giving you coaching, so it's just like I'm there with you in your front room, helping you invest in your health. So the workout takes 30 minutes, but it is just gonna feel like 10 minutes. It's really fun. We're gonna do 30 seconds of marching on the spot where we're doing our walking. Then we're literally gonna do one minute toning. So let's start off now. We've got a timer. Let's go for just doing 30 seconds. Now you could be walking around your room or marching on the spot. Just make sure you're doing it with good form for me. So keep your shoulders lifted. And also just make sure we keep those tummy muscles pulled in and just marching away. So after 30 seconds, you're going to get a 10 second preview of the toning move coming up. So what you can do is you can slowly start getting used to that move and then you'll have a timer for 60 seconds. So our first full body workout move is literally, we are going to be kicking your arms in front and you're just doing a little punch. So what we're doing here, we're working through your abdominal we're increasing your heart rate, you're gonna to be toning up all over. And we're gonna do that for a duration of 60 seconds. Now the great thing is with this, again, as I said, this is suitable for every single fitness level. So only kick your leg up as high as you can. And you might want to start with your hands on your hips, just get used to the leg movement. And then when you're ready, start punching that arm. So it's the opposite arm. Now, if you wanna make it harder, you can punch your arms up higher. Or if you wanna stick with a little, slightly easier, just bring those arms in front. All right, we're gonna keep that going. You've just got less than 30 seconds to go. And actually my camera keeps going in and out of focus here, so sorry about that. So we're just gonna keep going, keep thinking of the benefits. This is really good to tone through your abdominals, I'm toning through your thighs, I'm toning through your arms, I'm strengthening your heart, I'm investing in your health. We are literally ticking every single box. And we've got the last 10 seconds. Let's just keep that going, still maintain that good posture. I'm gonna count you down from the last five. Let's go forward, take it three, two and one. So we're simply now just gonna go back to another 30 seconds of just marching or you could be walking around your room. Let's just keep that going and then we'll go on to a new full body toning move. Now if you're not already, definitely come and find me on Instagram because I post up on there every single day. So motivation, food, health, well-being, quick little workouts, there is loads there. So if you're not ready, definitely come over and follow me on there. So land nice and softly whilst you're marching. That's good, we've got three, two and one. So let's have a look now, our next move coming up. So this one here, we are just doing two traveling side steps and we're gonna add in some arms. After 30 seconds, we're gonna change the arm movement, but we're just gonna start with this one, with your palms facing forward, so two traveling side steps. So this is again where, let's talk about where I'm working now. I'm just turning your inner thighs, your outer thighs. We're working through the bottom, we're working through the abdominals, we're also really working the back of the upper arms. So we're turning through the triceps, even through your shoulders and chest, that's good. Keeping that going, that's good. And just keep thinking of all those benefits. So we're toning all over, we're doing really well. We're nearly halfway through this exercise. So we're just gonna change the arms now. Now this time, just bend through the elbows and you've just got the fingertips are coming up, touching your shoulders. So what we're doing now, primarily working a little bit more through the front of the arm, through the biceps. Make sure we're keeping the knees slightly bent. So we're doing that traveling side step. So we're toning the thighs, the arms, the abs. We're keeping the heart rate up, that's good. And and we're coming up to those last five seconds. Let's go five, take it four, three, two, and, and one. All right, that's great. So let's bring it straight back now. We've got 30 seconds just marching on the spot. So remember with this, you could be marching on the spot or if you want to walk around the room or you could even take it to a light jog. Now, if you are on Facebook, there are, or I do have my own Facebook page, Lisa's Squad, but there is also a closed group, which is amazing. It's you guys that have set this up. It's nothing to do with me, but it's the most amazing community, how you support and share your journeys with each 
each other. So I definitely recommend having a visit at that two and one. So the next move, we are going to do these standing ab crunches. We're going to do 10 on one leg. So you draw the knee up, pull the arms in. Then we're going to change and take it 10 to the opposite leg. So we're going to do that for a duration of 60 seconds. So with this one, if you find it too hard with balance, just place one hand on a chair or wall and we're just going to really drive that knee up, keep the tummy tight and once you've done your 10, you don't have to do it as fast as me, work in your own time, do sets of 10, then change that to the other leg. So again on here where we're working, I'm working through your thighs, I'm working through your abdominal, through your bottom, through your arms, so we are working literally everywhere, I'm just showing you from the side, do make sure the leg you're standing on, that you always have a slight bend in the leg. Let's keep that going. So we're halfway through. So remember you're doing 10 second, um, sorry, 10 repetitions each leg, driving that up. And really as you draw that knee up, pull those tummy muscles in really tight. That's how we're going to really strengthen through your abs. As I always say, planks, everyone thinks the best exercise, but really not. These standing ab workouts are so much more effective. All right, you're doing really well. We've got the last five seconds. Let's go forward. Take it three, two, and then one. All right, well done. So let's bring it straight back now to a march on the spot. So you're doing really well, 30 seconds. Now I'm just gonna show you some results. This is what happens when you do my workouts. And one of the biggest reasons is because you could do these at home. These workouts are free, so you can do this at the comfort of your own home. You haven't got to drive to the gym. You don't have to pay a personal trainer. And this is where it becomes part of people's lives. And that's where they start to see incredible results. And let's go three, take it two, and one. So for the next move, we are going to do two standing knee crunches. And you're going to step one foot out to either side. And we're also going to add some arms to this one. So we'll do the punches, and then we're going to draw the arms down. We're going to do this again for a duration of 60 seconds. So let's step either foot out. Now draw the knee up and step the foot out and add in the arms when you're ready. Knee comes up and up, step the foot out. So this way here, what I'm doing as well, I'm really working on what's known as your motor skills. This is all about coordination and agility. So it's really important because we're engaging the mind. Your mind is thinking, what's that next move coming up? And it's really important to do mind fitness as well. So I'm certainly gonna be adding a lot more of these to our new upcoming workouts in the future. So let's just keep that going doing really well. Keep focusing on all those benefits. We are toning and sculpting all over. You're doing really well. We've just got last 20 seconds. That's good. Keeping that focused and punch and really put some power in those punches and really draw that arm across. That's good. We've got last 10 seconds. That's good. I'm going to count you down from the last five. So let's go five, take it four and three, two and one. Let's bring it straight back now to that march. So make sure you are landing softly or you could be walking around the room. Keep your shoulders back, chest lifted. Here are some more results and one of these ladies here in this um, picture, she's in her late 60s and this is where these workouts are suitable for everyone, for every age, every ability. As a trainer with over 25 years experience, I know how you get real results that last a lifetime. I'm all about keeping it real and realistic and doable and that's when people make it a habit. All right, so your next move coming up, this really lovely one, arms above the head, just pull your arms down and we are just gonna do a little hamstring curl at the same time. So again with this one, it is a multi-compound move, meaning I'm working literally every muscle group through your body. The benefit of that is, it just means now we are gonna really naturally increase your metabolic rate, so we are raising that so you're burning more calories. We're also toning and sculpting and the more toning your body is the more you have a higher basal metabolic rate which means hourly your calorie burn is increased so this is where doing the toning with the cardio is so good if you're looking for healthy weight loss that's good let's keep that going so I know the arms now might be feeling a little bit tired remember it's really important to challenge yourself so keep going but if it feels too much you can always just bring that hands down to your sides and just focus on the leg movement but you've got done really well we've got last 15 seconds so let's just keep going because remember it's a challenge that tones us that's when we get those real results 10 seconds let's keep that going doing so well and I'm gonna count you down. Let's go five, take it four and three, 
two and one. All right, let's bring that straight back to that march. Now do make sure you are landing nice and softly. Now this is someone that followed my seven day, seven minute challenge and lost a whole inch off their waist. So today's workout is 30 minutes just because I get so many requests for longer ones, but I have got my shorter ones. And this video literally only nine months ago had has now had 20 million downloads. It is the most popular workout on YouTube. So if you haven't done it, definitely go and do that workout as well. Three, two, and one. Next move coming up, this time now, we're gonna take one arm up to one side and then kick one leg in front. So again, we're doing lots with the arms, the legs, really good for coordination, for balance. I'm toning you from every single angle. And the good news is we are now well over halfway through today's workout. So arm up and over to the side, push your hands in front and kick that leg up. That's good, that's what we're just gonna do now for 50 seconds. Let's just keep that going, tummy is tight. So I said, what I wanted to do today is also work you through the three ranges of motion, which is sideways, rotational, and forwards and backwards. And by doing that, it just means then I'm making sure I'm turning every single muscle. So let's keep that going and just lift that arm up. So yeah, those seven minute workouts, like if you really wanted to get incredible results, you could do a seven minute workout in the morning or in the evening, and then you could do these longer ones of mine, the walking ones, you could do those at lunchtime, but that seven minute one, if that's all you have in one week, you can still get incredible results because I use my unique multi-compound moves, and that's why these results really get incredible um, results simply workouts results is what I'm trying to say two and one all right well done so let's bring it straight back now to a march so remember if you want to you could even bring this up to a little bit of a light jog so I'm just going to talk to you about nutrition so overnight oats these are amazing this is from my new healthy eating book so with this literally just get some oats overnight and soak them and if you can put in a vanilla pod that's what I've got there to the side and add in either some almond or oat milk then in the morning take them out drain them off and then you can add a little yogurt and some blueberries. Tastes delicious and that is a really healthy breakfast. All right, so next move coming up, we are gonna do what's known as a grapevine. So we're just gonna go from one side to the other and it's adding in a little hop at the end, bring in the arms. If you're new to this particular exercise, what I would recommend, just have a go at doing the leg movement first and then when you're ready, then you can start bringing in the arms. That's good. So you can see here, we're doing that sideways movement here so we're working through the side of the legs again keeping that heart rate up you can add a little bit of a jump if you want to and just push back with the arms so then we can really increase that arm range of motion so then that just means now I'm also then really working through your upper back that's good so just going from one side to the other all right, and we've got last 30 seconds to go on this move. And just keep thinking of these benefits. And we all know that exercise is one of the best ways to help reduce stress. It's also, as we know, incredible for our health. It helps prevent disease. It's also really good for re-energizing ourselves, reducing depression, anxiety, the list goes on. There is actually nothing negative. There is no bad side effect of exercise. It was all positive. Three, let's go two and one. All right, let's bring it straight back to a march or walk around the room. So I'm just gonna tell you another one of my recipes from my book, which I love, is my apple crumble. This is so simple. So literally peel an apple, core it, and then put it in some hot water and just cook it until it's nice and soft. And in the meantime, under a grill, just put some oats, you can toast some oats, then take it out and then strain off the apple, mash it up, and then put on your toasted oats, a little bit of crumb fresh, and there is apple crumble for you. Super healthy and delicious. And add a little bit of honey and cinnamon. All right, so next move coming up. This time now, we are back to working that mind with coordination. We're gonna step one foot in front, then take the other leg out to the side. So we're gonna do 30 seconds working it in one way then we're going to change take it to the opposite leg so one leg in front then to the side so kick one leg in front then out to the side and add the arms in halfway through we're going to change the leading leg on there that's good so keeping that going so again still we're keeping that heart rate up we're toning through the legs toning through your arms we're working through the mind so we're having to keep focused and it's so important that we really engage our mind every time when we're exercising that we're not drifting off and thinking something 
something else. All right, let's go three, two, and one. So now let's get ready to change, and we're now gonna take that to the opposite leg, take that out to the side, then the opposite one in front. So we're still doing the same arm movement, but the leg that was going out to the side is now coming in the front. That's good, keeping that going. Doing really well. And we're gonna get ready for those last 10 seconds. Count you down the last five, then we're gonna take it straight back again to your walk or your march. All right, let's go last three and take it two and then one. So bring that back. Now, if you want to, you can have a go, perhaps at doing a little bit of a light jog on the spot or stick with your marching. And this is another one from my cookbook, by the way, all these illustrations for food. I wanted to do, instead of doing normal pictures, I've done these all myself. This one I call my hug in a mug. So if I need a little sweet treat, instead what I do is heat up some oat milk, then I put in a tiny amount of honey, and I put in some nutmeg, sprinkle a little nutmeg, mix it all together, and it is hot and frothy. It's literally like a hug in a mug. Delicious. All right, next exercise now. We are gonna do, a traveling standing knee lift obviously standing and bring in the opposite elbow to knee so this one here amazing for your arms and for your waist we're going to do that for literally again 60 seconds so we are nearly finished today so let's just keep focus keep thinking of all these benefits you are doing all right so you can travel that forwards what I was doing is coming forwards for four and then going back for four if your room is big enough you could perhaps travel forwards for eight, then go back for eight, or if you'd prefer to, just do those standing on the spot. You don't have to travel at all. All right, that's good. Let's keep that going. So we've got last 30 seconds coming up right now. That's good. So benefit here, what I want you to really be sure that you are doing is keep your back really straight for me, keep your tummy tight, you're keeping those arms up nice and high, and by drawing that opposite elbow to knee, just means then we're working a little bit more into your waist, so we're gonna get those nice curves, and let's just go last 10 seconds, keeping that going, that's good. So the arms do feel tired now, but remember that's when we get those results, it's about challenging our body for, let's go three, two and one, amazing, well done. Let's bring it straight now back to your walk. So land nice and softly, keep those tummy muscles pulled in, keep your shoulders pulled back. So those um, recipes, they're really simple. I designed this book, Healthy Eating, it's just, I wanted to create something so they're quick recipes, they're healthy, they're easy, they're good for you, super tasty. There's over, I think over about 60 of them. I'll leave a link in the description down below. This book has recently just gone on sale. So so I'll leave all the details down there for you. Three, two, and one. All right, so next move coming up, this time arms in front, palms stay down, and you're just gonna open and close through the arms, and at the same time, we're just alternating, taking one leg slightly behind. We keep the tummy tight as you do that. So this one here, where I'm specifically working now, this is really amazing to lift that bottom, so give you a really lovely shape and lift without having to do any squats, and we just do make sure, though, that the support leg is slightly bent you have your palms facing down try and keep your arms sort of chest height squeeze that back that's good so this one here is really lovely to get that nice definition through your shoulders as well and doing this for six seconds is quite a long time. So you might find around now that your arms are feeling tired and I'm not surprised because mine were killing me. But if you can, keep going. But if it feels too much, you will know when it's too much. Then just bring your arms down to your side and just focus on the lower body. Do what feels right for you. But do remember it's important to challenge yourself but not to a point that is ridiculously painful. At that point, you can just march on the spot. All right, let's just keep going and let's take it last. Last five, let's go four, take it three, two, and one. And let's bring it straight back now, back to that march, 30 seconds. So again, this one, if you want to now, you could even add in some star jumps or just keep to doing that simple marching. Make sure you are landing nice and softly or you could be walking around your room, you're pumping through with your arms, you're keeping your shoulders pulled back, your chest is lifted, tummy stays tight and you are realizing what you are doing now is the best thing. You are inv investing in the most important thing you have, which is your health. And let's go three, two, and one. All right, so next move coming up, we're gonna do two standing knees and then two tap backs. So again, we'll really work in the mind. Two tap backs and then two standing knees. And halfway through, we'll change the leading leg. So two knees up, so one, two, take the foot back, one, and two. Draw the knee up, one, two, step the foot back, 
for two and add in the arms when you're ready, that's good. Now this one here is really amazing for your core stability. We're really having to engage those abdominals as we take transfer from one foot to the other. That's good and as I said, 30 seconds will change leading legs. Keeping that going. So let's get ready to change that now. Two knees up and then two taps back. Two knees up and two taps back. That's good. So I am really challenging you today with today's workout, but you are going to feel amazing afterwards. And that's what life's about. It's about jumping out of our comfort zone a little bit. That's how we grow. That's how we get these results. And let's go last 15 seconds. Okay, you're doing really well. And I'm going to count you down. We've got 10. Let's keep that going. So two knees two tap backs and let's go last five seconds take it four go three two and one amazing well done so let's bring it straight back now we've just got that 30 seconds march on the spot or walking around the room and just remember every time you work out think of all those health benefits and it is about making it part of your lifestyle this isn't just a quick pit stop this is about a journey this is about investing in your health forevermore so you always wake up feeling your best feeling positive having energy that's what real results are about all right okay so next move coming up this time now we're going to work those arms and for this one, all I need you to be is actually in a split stance. So this one is the one move out of the whole of today's workout where we are specifically just targeting one area. So palms face up. So all I want you to do now feels really easy to start with, but trust me, this one becomes really tough. What I'm doing now is I'm literally sculpting through your arms. So we are now doing what I call an isolated move. All right, so this one now, just feel that through the back of the upper arms. After 30 seconds, we're gonna just change the move very slightly. So you're keeping your shoulders lifted and it is just literally just pushing the arms back and where you'll feel this is through the back of the upper arms, your palms facing away. Just change your legs and now this time, keep the arms lifted and just do a little crisscross. Now as I said, if you're watching this, you think, oh my goodness, that would be so easy. It's so tough, probably one of the hardest moves in today's workout. Obviously with this one, we're not really burning many calories, but what we are doing specifically is toning through your arms. All right, let's keep that going if you can. I know my arms are killing me right now. And let's just go last five, take it four, go three, two, and one. Amazing, well done for doing that. All right, let's bring it straight back now and let's just pump through with the arms. So you're just landing nice and softly with those feet. We've nearly finished today's training, not long to go now. So let's just keep that focus. And for the last minute we finish, I'm gonna give you two moves. So you get to choose your moves. So it's really fun, the last move on there. So shoulders lifted, tummy tight. Think about why you're doing this. You are gonna be the best version of you. And that's the only person you should ever be in contact competition with is yourself. It's all about improving you. All right, so next move coming up. Now this one, we're going to do a slight bend. Now, if you want to, you could do this one by a chair or by a sofa, just if you want to for balance, just have your hands on a chair and then you're just going to literally bend through the knee. If you feel all right with balance, you can just do it like this. You just literally bend down and come back up. Now also with this one, this is fine, but if you really perhaps don't like this exercise, then what you could do is is just a literally carry on doing the marching on the spot with this one. But the benefit of this is you are toning through the bottom, you are toning through the leg you're standing on, you're also really working balance, but I'm also really engaging through your abdominals because we're having to activate those core muscles to help for stability and balance. You've got last 30 seconds to go. That's good, keeping that going. And you could make it smaller as I'm doing now if you're feeling really tired on there. But remember, just work to what is the correct intensity for you. But it is important you challenge yourself. But what your challenge to someone else's is very different. But that's irrelevant because it's about you, not about anyone else. All right, let's keep that going. And let's go last five, take it four, and then go three, two, and one. Let's bring that straight back to that march. and. I haven't said it, but you can always hit the pause button if you need to grab some water on there. Let's just keep that going. So again, if you want to, you could bring that up now for me for a little light jog or if you're happy still doing your walking. And what you could do if you're doing your walking, you could do a few little punching arms because this is where we want to keep that heart rate up. So we're really getting our hearts nice and fit and healthy and strong. All right, that's good. And you've got last five seconds. Let's go four, take it three, 
two and one. So your next move this time, we are just gonna do a nice little curtsy. And we're just gonna travel forwards for four, and then if you want to, a light little jog back for four. So you travel forwards for four, and the leg comes behind. Now this one is absolutely fine for the knees. If you don't like doing them, just don't bend as low, and you're just gonna draw the arms up. And a light little jog or a march back, I was just trying to get a little bit creative and try and think of some new moves for you. But we've nearly finished today, so let's just keep going, doing really well. So draw the arms down and just travel that forwards for four, and then you can just take that light little jog or march back on the spot. But what you do want to do is make sure you're keeping your upper body nice and straight for me. If you are choosing to do that light jog, just make sure you land nice and softly. Draw the arms down. That's good. Excellent. And light little jog back. Just got 20 seconds. So we've nearly finished today. That's good. And what I would recommend with this workout, if you've liked it, you could do these walking ones two or three times a week. And then you could always follow my seven minute challenges. Do those seven days a week. And that is just seven minutes in the morning. Let's go four, take it three, two, and one. All right, so we're going to bring it straight back now to that march, land nice and softly. And I promise you, I literally get hundreds of emails. And if you do have a chance, go on my Instagram because I got approached by an American national magazine that wants to run a feature on my walking workout videos on YouTube, which is just such an honor. And I got you guys to put your comments if you've done them, the health benefits. There's over 130 amazing comments how these workouts change people's lives. So it's real, go and have a look, it's on my Instagram. Right, next move coming up, this time now, let's do a little clap and punch, and uh, not punch, sorry, and just clap that arm out to the side. Take that leg slightly out and behind, so it's a really nice one, nice little clap. And you can travel this one around your room. So we're just gonna go from one side, clap, and then take the hand over. And by really reaching that arm across, what this does now, it just means then we're really working through your waist. And these exercises are also really good for your flexibility. The better flexibility you have, the better alignment you have, better posture you have. So we look taller. It's better as well when we have good posture. It's really important for our organs. When we have bad posture, we can press our organs. You know, so that's where it's really good. This is where I said to you, exercise is beneficial for so many reasons. All right, you're well over halfway on this one. And add that clap and reach it across from side to side. Doing really well. That's good. Keeping that going. I'm going to count you down from those last five seconds. You know, and you can make this move as big as you as you want. And always, if you want to make the arms harder, just take them up a little higher. Makes it more challenging. That's it. And just from one side to the other. And let's get ready to count down five. Take it four. Go three two and one amazing all right let's bring that straight back now to that march on the spot so if you want to you could even now do some crazy dancing if no one is watching because we've nearly finished today's workout so we really want to get the most out of that last little bit really get that calorie burn up land nice and softly keep those tummy muscles pulled in nice and tight for me you're doing really well shoulders pulled back tummies pulled in that's it, chest is lifted, working through the arms, keeping that focus. Think how fit and strong you are going to be, two and one. So your next move coming up, this time now, it's the last one, where you've got a choice of two moves. You have done both these moves in the workout earlier on, so you can choose. We started with the first one, two side steps, or you can do those traveling knees in front. This is the last one of your full body workouts. We've got a minute for this, and then finishing 30 seconds with a march on the spot. All right, so let's keep going. So if you're doing the one on the right, the knee one, this is really good for your abs. If you're following on the left, this one is particularly good for your arms and thighs. Let's just keep that going last little bit today. Okay, well done. So today's workout, you will have burnt off so many calories, you'll have invested in your health. And remember, if you are looking to reach a healthy weight, then it is really important to combine the exercise. It's so essential. You have to look at doing the healthy nutrition. As I said, I've got my new healthy eating book and I've obviously got my other healthy eating book, which was so popular and that's why I decided to do a second one. And you can go to what my website. I've got all my online training programs, online weight loss courses, menopause, Nutrition, there is literally everything there, something there for everyone, which is at lwrfitness.com. 
So we are nearly finished. We have just got now last 30 seconds. So let's go for gold. If you want to march it on the spot or just you could take it star jumps, crazy jump, dancing um, or jog on the spot, run around the room, just shake your arms because you've really done it. Amazing. Let's just keep going. Last 15 seconds and we're going to go into a full stretch. So let's just keep that going. Last 10. Well done. We're going to take it right through to the end. There's the finish line. Five seconds. Let's go four, three, two and one amazing well done so let's just slowly march it out now if you want to you can take longer you can hit the pause button if you want to grab some water or if not we'll get straight into the stretching now so the first stretch we're going to do is let's just take one foot behind so we're just going to step that behind I just want you to feel that where I'm pointing so this one here is just stretching through the calf muscle which is really important because we have worked that muscle a lot today so just feeling that stretch Okay, so let's just hold that there for a little bit longer. All right, let's now change, take that to the other side. So the benefit here of doing these stretches, it helps to realign your body. And as I said, it's also really good, it helps sort of prevent muscular soreness, but sometimes, you know, those muscles, we do feel it the next day, but I always think then at least you know it's worked. All right, that's good. Now, also, just so you know, I have got so many different eBooks and online courses on my website. Let's just go to a hamstring stretch now, feel that through the back of the upper thigh. Hands are on the bent leg, toes flexed up. I literally have online courses now. I have a menopause online course, which is a 21 day. I have specific plans for if you're a pear shape or an apple shape. I've got my healthy eating books, a lifestyle guide. I think I have now over 50 products just to let you know these are all available on my website. Let's just take that to the other leg. And again, keep the toes flexed up. It's important you're feeling this through the back of the upper thigh. That's good. And with these stretches, it really helps develop your flexibility. Let's now take that to a quadricep stretch. If you need to, stand by a wall doing this one. Um, and on the left there in the middle, you can see one where it says walk slim. I do have these audio downloads. So if you ever wanted to take a walk outdoors, you can download me. I do coaching for you. So I get you walking for shorter bursts of say like 30 seconds. We're walking faster. So we're just helping to burn off excess um, weight, lots of toning. So those are available available as audio downloads. All right, just feel that through the front of the thigh, make sure the supporting knee is slightly bent for me, keeping that going, doing really well. We've nearly finished with these stretches. So it's been a super long session today. Let's just take the arms in front, imagine you're hugging a big beach ball. And it's only because I've now got over nearly 600,000 of you guys as subscribers. I like to give you everything you want. I've had a few people ask for longer workouts. So here you are, I wanted to give everyone something that they want, feel that stretch through the front. And now take one arm up. And the other thing I do have, I am on a mission to get our kids healthy and fit. So um, I do have some healthy stories, which are fun fairy tale stories with a sprinkle of healthy eating and fun exercise. They are on my website as well. So if you've got young children and you want to inspire them, definitely read those fairy tale books. So thank you so much. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, definitely hit the subscribe button. And if you did like it, then share it with your friends, family, loved ones, share it on Facebook, Pinterest. And if you've got any comments, I'm going to be online when this video goes up, so I shall be answering them. But even if it's a year later, still put a comment because I will always try and get back to as many people as I can. But thank you so much. Be super proud. You've done really well. You have invested in your health today.